Hey guys. So, today we will be looking at a new code editor that is written in Rust. Helix, a postmodern text editor. Helix is Rust-based modal text editor, which is lightweight, highly configurable, packed with several built-in features with no support for Plugin. Helix is a relatively new project compared to its counterparts, but it packs a punch. Not many are aware of existence of Helix, but it has been gaining significant popularity in the developer community in recent times. Helix documentation provides detailing instructions on installing the editor on multiple operating systems. Let's look Helix in action. We will start by creating a new project. Then we can open our project by the command hx. By default, it asks us to select a file and shows the file preview side by side. Let's start with our main file. I have configured Helix to open a new terminal on Ctrl plus T. Now we will add dependencies to our project. We will add Procorm to our, our project. Procorm is a procedural macro that simplifies the creation of MySQL queries for fields in your Rust structs. It comes with select, insert, update, delete operations with joins, subqueries and other complex queries. Let us import Procorm to our project and use it over a struct user. As you can see, Helix has already started providing hints and auto-completes. It also shows us if our file contains any errors. In order to start writing to a file you need to be in the insert mode. You can switch to insert mode by pressing the key I. Our user struct will have three fields. ID, username and email. Helix allows us to generate our code for us. Generate newt will imp our user struct with a method new. Method newt will as a constructor for our struct. Now we will derive Procorm over user to generate SQL Builder. Then assign a table name to it. It is obvious that our user struct will correspond to user table. Let us build a simple select query using Procorm in Helix. Since we have just derived the table macro over user, this might take a while before we can access the Rust macro magic.
we are writing select query with where clause. We can now see we have all the associated functions available with us. Let's check what output our macro is producing for us. For that, we will simply print our queries. Let us run our project and see our work in action. Perfect, we are getting appropriate results. We will play around a little bit more.
Let us use the factory method we created, the method new. I like it that as soon as we are passing variables or arguments it is highlighting the corresponding in the function definition. Let me show my Helix configurations and key bindings. I have tried to create VS Code-like configuration to this Helix editor. I sometimes miss the power of VS Code, but it is fun to create key bindings for your editor. Helix being very lightweight provides accurate and quick error messages and code actions. There is lot more that can be done to improve this editor, but this is a very very good start. You can learn about the default configuration and tutorial simply by going to the normal mode and then entering colon tutor. That brings us the well-established Helix tutorial. As you might have noticed that I didn't have to provide language server. It is because Helix comes power packed out of the box. I can say I am enjoying trying out Helix. Let me know what are your thoughts about it. Please check out the repository in the description of this video. This was Helix in 15 minutes. Be sure to like, share and subscribe.